said it. Where y'all are killing fast. So we have fight. Pepco versus Karik. Um, we haven't seen Pepco today, so let's start on him. Round begins in. He uh, has to three, fight a doom with two, the dual wielding Boskovich. Fight. Let's see if he can bring some damage to the table. Oh, oh, no. he catches Karik out, but oh yeah, Karik, like he's been doing all day, hits a clutch midair. So he gets on the board. Nothing really changed much though. Uh, items five seconds away. Yeah, but Pepco doesn't really uh, have the tools to fight for anything. He does try his luck, but uh, gets some punishment from Garwick. And yeah, now he doesn't have a light. Garwick knows this, and he tries to hit a rail, does not connect his shot. So Pep and that was a full 93 damage from the tribal. So picking up the heavy was rather healing than overstacking for for Garwick there. True. And uh, yeah, Pepco uh, did a great job of not uh, giving Karmic, uh, Kar Karmic, Karwick. On Karwick, right? Yeah. <laughs> At least not reaching critical mass. Ooh, but now the opening rail is there for Karwick. And yeah, Pepco just oh, has a predictable route and well, does have two LGs, but. Garwick is able to scare him away from the, uh, from the Mega Half. Garwick's oh, lightning gun did not hit at all. Pepco should have been dead there any time of the week, but he, he wiggles his way out and dishes insane amounts of damage back. Fortunately, it was before the item somewhat, so Garwick's deck still huge. Huge! Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's the new rail. Wow, it's... Uh... Yeah, someone paid some uh, money to get it early <laughs> or maybe he just played all night yeah oh there did all the challenges yeah the defensive rocket was great but uh garwick had so much stack to work with he might even gamble uh, the jump at play right yes oh i <laughs> hear the screaming vj So far, Kawig is the one stabilizing and cycling rather than Pepco, whose map choice this is not correct. Oh! In, but in the end, it doesn't really matter because you have to win your map the opponent's map choice anyway if you want to clutch a series 2-0. What? <laughs> and he flew high in the sky there. The rocket perfectly timed to yeah lay Pepco up for a perfect alley -oop with the railgun. Oh, but uh, he will get the frag and uh, get the heavy. Oh, there's no opening damage though. Oh, the rail. It, 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 it's an amazing thing. And the death star fires. And there's the one for a game, another hit with the death star, but this time he dies. The death star, that is. Luke dropped the bomb into the systems and it detonated. And now it's a normal railgun. Yeah, just a, a green Stopwatch. laser pew pew thingy. Ooh, what is? He has a nose for uh, Pepco's whereabouts. Decides to leave the angle, and uh, Pepco also. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Saying combat skills from Kawaii. Oh. This man that sits on 71% railgun. So somebody disable wrong with please. Oh, no. no, Pepco though. Pepco has some great lightning gun himself and yeah, he had two of them. Yeah, makes it even better. Double the fun. But uh, the more the merrier. He take it. No! <laughs> oh boy. Lightning guns are not great for swamp swimmings. But Pepco had some swim equipment with him. I, d I wonder why he couldn't use it. Anyway. Yeah. The heavy's up and... Oh, the damage! 
from Kawik, but Pepco has so many items that it needs to be such an unhumanly huge amount of damage. Oh, and there we go again. What? He's getting away with it. Look at this. And the Mega Elves there to collect. Also a light. And now get in position for the heavy. While also doing major damage onto Karwik. Oh, and he oh, predicts and the movement. One. Wow. And Karwik is still going. Wow, after losing out so much stack. Oh, he almost gets it. Look at this Pepco. is worse for wear. Karwik invested so much stack, but he might get... No, he doesn't get the Mega Health. So, all the investment oh, no. of that stack uh, just disappeared without anything in return. Yeah. And the Railinator ties it up as he suicides in the fight with a close self rocket there. Oh, oh and now it's two lightning guns against one rockets, and it spells danger because Kawik already took over 180 damage in that rocket. Oh, and the rail to finish it off. Pepco charging up himself now. And he shows why he usually wins the world. Oh no, he can't hit the rail. This would have been important to keep the stacks even. But now Kawik with a huge stack advantage. Laser was out of trap. And Pepco runs in it. Tight game again. Yeah, three and a half minutes. A little bit more even to play. Uh, none of the items appear soon. Garwick uh, wants to defend the Mega Half though. Yeah, he hears the portal, so he knows the route uh, Pepco is taking. Uh, Pepco wants uh, the heavy. He set up camp near that item. Oh, he just basically disappeared on the map. We only see him because uh, of the X-ray. Karik hasn't seen him for a minute. He does get greeted by a rocket, so that's uh, a hint. I think he now knows that uh, Pepco is around. Oh no! <laughs> Just before the Mega Elf, he uh, decides to attack Pepco and he pops him into the air and the next rocket is the killing blow. Wow, what the huh? Pepco just freshly spawned with the LG in hand, ties it up again. Pepco time and time again shows that he's the superior lightning gun aimer in this game. Or, or at least in this particular map they play. Yeah, how is the damage spread then and the accuracy? Well, Pepco is sitting on close to 2000 lightning gun damage with 45% accuracy, while Kawik is sporting 1200 or 1300 damage closely with 30, 36% accuracy. Okay. So Pepco is winning out on both statistics. And the bobs. Yeast. Indeed. What a bob that was. And another bob will come soon. As oh, but the oh, Wow. Next. First Go with the on. starting shotgun as he finishes it off with the lightning gun. Wisely, he did not go for that light because he knew of the spawn of, of Karwig and that Karwig was more than able to punish that with a rocket. How is this man and hitting those rockets? It's, it's amazing. Don't know. Ask him. Ask Rom. They do the same, maybe stone as well. They have these magic rockets from time to time. Well, what, what this man is just not missing an air rocket. It's insane. But uh, he does lose out on uh, the Mega Health, but still has uh, enough armor to boost. Not after getting hit by that uh, rocket. Yeah, and uh, Pepco, smell blood, attacks him like a shark in the water. And. Uh, well, gets in the lead with one minute left. Garwick does have uh, the heavy on his chest. Oh, but the opening damage from Pepco. But there is a return. Oh, and Pepco was still giving up an angle. But now Garwick is doing a jump pad play. While Pepco is great with the LG. So Garwick gets a lot of damage. But is still having the better stack. So Pepco decides to... Yeah, leave the heavy uncontested. He does have uh, his uh, dual wielding guns at the ready. So, in a mid range fight, 
Pepco will be the victor. Oh, yeah, but I think Pepco did a great job at wasting time on the team on that. Oh, the lightning gun oh. again! Oh, and Karik doesn't even want to try and get the reflect. Pepco had 25 health. Yeah, Karwick de definitely was not happy with losing, losing this, but he lost. Great aim from Pepco with the lightning gun, but also great rockets from Karwick, who really showed that you should not get in a rocket fight with this man. But now it's Veil of Nath, and I think this favors Karwick not only because you picked it, but because of this map, you have so many choke points where Greatly placed rockets will have a major impact. And I think this is an advantage for Carwick. Um, yeah. He does uh, have to do a lot of damage, though. Uh, kill the pineapple man uh, with less uh, damage from uh, Splash. Yeah, but if you but if you hit them direct, there is no splash. <laughs> True, and he's been hitting a lot of directs, right? Yeah, mm. but in the end, yeah, it's a matter on how you do it, not what you pick. Oh, um, yeah, you have to play the map to win it. You you don't pick the champion and win it, unless you pick scared. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So. Prepare yeah, let's start this one with Kawik because he really needs to get something going. I mean, Round not that he played poorly, but he needs three, to get something going in terms two, of win your own one, map, boy. Fight. Let's see. Oh, and he gets the perfect spawn for winning his map as well, but Pepco is not giving him an angle at all. Kawik delaying his item six seconds. Should be enough from getting from the heavy towards the mega, though. And there we go. Right weapon choice from Kawik as well. Straight off the beginning. But now Pepco is left to pick up a lightning gun for free as well. And I think he did not because it seemed like he went straight through the teleport. And never mind, he did anyway. Timmy being removed. But a little bit of damage is exchanged. Stop watch. Yeah, Karwik does oh, not. Oh, good read. Karwik hears him and is not get baited by the opening doors. But he does not hit any damage. Pepco, huge <laughs> damage to start it off with. And the first wreck goes to the Russian as well. Nice. And he sees a light, but it gets picked up by Karek, who's freshly spawned. So he's a little bit healthy. And does great damage. Look at this. He just bullies himself into the tie-breaking wreck. And oh, great reads. And we have a signature rocket in the air hitting you might call it a mid-air and Karwick is an expert in hitting those Karwick is a juggler he just juggles Pepco yeah. around until he feels like okay now I know I'm gonna hit my air rocket and then boom smack right in the face yeah, we'll see another rocket jump. Oh, and Pepco can't punish it as he has the rocket and tried to do it with rockets and pineapple midair. It's a trait, man. How? What, what is going on? Oh, uh, but Pepco gets the spawn of spawns. Kawi did not pick up the item and... See you are well versed in the receiving. Oh, it's game. <laughs> I have to... No. What is going on? I have to respawn the screen stuck. Ah, there we go. Oh, really? Press ask. Well, Kawik got hammered twice in a row. Okay, yeah, I didn't spot it. I was fighting with my quick. Perks of being keel, you're a thick boy. Guns of being keel, you get railed easy as fuck. Uh, it, <laughs> this new railgun, it looks beautiful and weird. New rockets and Pep goes out of those weapons. Oh wow! And the... a nice rail from above. Wow, actually, 
look great if the, you shoot a new rail uh, against stone or something the wall not not the player stone you get uh, some pink splash damage looks awesome well done it's software id software <laughs> okay, that was rocket and pineapple. Something. Oh, they're both dealing great damage, but uh Garwick, what is going on? I, I have two Pepcos. You have, I don't. Lol, look at the stream. <laughs> uh when I switch players. I have Pepco and Pepco. That's weird. So when you're on Carvix POV, then? Uh, I don't know when. Uh, oh, I, I, yeah. So now I'm on, on Carvix, indeed. No, now oh, I'm on Pepco. Pepco from on my end. Pepco is in the bottom left. He says he has zero stack. <laughs> yeah, now I have two Pepcos as well. I can't. So I'm Sink I can just make it by the weapon skins. <laughs> Okay, for now I'm on Pepco. I know that because of the railgun. Yeah, Pepco gets rid of Tobias. And Pepco, unlike my HUD, is not having zero stack. I think uh, this needs uh, a bug report. Because now it's also doesn't do the auto follow killer anymore. Okay. Well, we're going to see how this is going to be dealt with during the quick probably on Sundays. Indeed. <laughs> As we definitely don't have any technical. Uh, yeah, things to, to fix that, but we don't really need it as Pepco, time and time again, gets frag after frag after frag. But yeah, he, he doesn't get hit by anything from Karik. Still rocking on the 34 health and 20 armor. And he's yeah, doing I mean, wonders I, with it. I mean, the good thing is the stack and the, 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 the HUD on the top at the timer is still working. <laughs> So, Kawik's definitely in the stack lead at the moment, but he's not in the frag lead. Kawik will, uh, yeah, consume that mega health as well, but he can't really get any damage or lay hands onto Pepco. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well. Maybe uh, if I go to. Boom. Oh no, I'm really Jeez. stuck in this one. I. Lost him big. Did you see it? Seeing it on screen, yeah. yeah, you were stuck in, uh, in the hips of, of uh, Kiel. 25. Oh, is, is... Uh. oh yeah, it worked! Uh, it worked. Oh, nice, okay. I should do this again. Uh, again as well, I mean, of course. Yes. That's the magic. We are back in it. And uh, Karwick also uh, seems a uh, great streak. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> the bias, the turret, does so much onto Pepco. Karwick hunts him down. And uh, we're ready for a comeback. Rob is the best troubleshooter in the world. <laughs> Basically, saving our, our podcast for this game is the end phase of this map, or the final phase or other, will definitely be heated up as we see both players with not much stack, and it's just a two for a game. On Veil, that's an easy task to pull back. Well, not easy, but more than doable. Easy is, is, is a relative. And hips, hips don't lie, as some woman said. Very intelligent. Intelligent. Yeah, yeah. 
very, very agility hips stuff. Thingy. But, uh, Carwick, two minutes for two frags. It is doable. Oh, but the defensive damage from Pepco. Now he is hitting that mid air that he needed to stop Carwick's. And I think Pepco's hips, as we just saw a glimpse of them, said, you're not going to catch me. And as so far, they are not lying because Kawik is not going to catch him. Heavy's up, Pepco's position. And Pepco removes so much stack from Kawik that he picks up the heavy and has maybe 20 times the stack of Kawik. <laughs> and Kawik says, no, I'm not going to have it that way. <laughs> Oh. On the rail off the spawn again, and another rail will kill him, but Pepco is just backpedaling off the teleporter. Does not really want to. Yeah, have I any think of this. this <laughs> <Kowik> left. <laughs> oh, I just. He had such a tiny angle, and, and it was a reflex shot, and he just. One minute warning. Oh, flicked himself into death. It was so funny. But uh, yeah, this beams uh, Pepco takes down Carwick with uh, two O. Because one plus one is two, and being this a best of three, Pepco wins this one. Pex.